Hello everyone. I am Manoj Kumar, founder of Basics Programming YouTube channel. Now I'm going to explain OTP generation using the Python programming language. Okay. Now let's see first of all what is OTP before going to the program. OTP means one time password. The full form of OTP is one time password. It is a password that is valid for only one login session or transaction. Means one login section or only one transaction on a digital device or a computer also. It is used in almost every service like internet banking, apps, etc. They are generally a combination of four or six numerical digits. Means the length of the OTP will be four or six, which is in the form of numerics. Okay, nothing but numeric digits. Before going into the program, let us follow some steps to solve this problem. Here we have four steps. First step is first import modules like math, random and string. These three are modules. We should import them by using import keyword. After that, next take the input from the user and define a function. Here I'm taking a input user as n and we are asking the input from the user, which is of integer data type only. And we should define a function and we should pass n value to this function. After that, we should perform logic of given problem statement within the function and we should return the result. Okay. After that, we should print the function in the output screen. These are the four steps we should do, we should perform to solve this problem. Now, let's see the logic of this problem. Now I'm writing import math as m. Here, math is a model which contains mathematical functions. Here, import is a keyword which is used to import modules. So I'm importing math module here as m. Instead of writing math.factorial, we can write m.factorial. Okay, next. Import random as r. Here, random is also a module which contains random function inside it. And import is a keyword which is used to import random module as R. Okay, next. Now, import string. String is also a module which contains string functions. With the help of import keyword, we can import string module here as this. Okay. Now, I'm writing a variable n is equal to int of the way. The data type of n is integer. Int of input of. I want to print some message in the output screen, so I'm writing enter n value is equal to. Okay. Generally, the length of the OTP may be four or six. But in this example, I'm taking the value of n as four. Okay. Now the value of n is 4 here. So I'm writing here n is equal to 4. The value of n is 4. Why? Because we have 4 boxes. Generally, the length of the OTP may be 4 or 6. But in this example, I'm taking it as 4. We have 4 boxes here. Next. Now, I'm defining a function def. Def is using Def is a keyword which is used to define a function. Def function name I should write gen OTP. The function name may your wish. We can write OTP of something like that. We can write now. I'm writing gen OTP means I'm generating OTP here. So gen OTP of n. Now I'm passing n value to here in this function. Okay, next. Within this function, our logic will start. Okay. Now I'm taking a empty string here. See, OTP is equal to some empty string I'm taking, which is nothing but the final output or final string, means final OTP, which will be printed in the output screen. Okay. Next, OTP is equal to some empty string I'm taking. Now I'm taking another string, D is equal to S dot digits. S dot digits is a function which is present in string module. Okay. Instead of writing 
zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. We can write s dot digits function which is present in string module. Okay. So here d is also a string and otp is also a string. Okay. Next. See this box is resultant box where values will be stored here. So it is known as OTP C here. It is OTP. OTP is empty, which is a string. Okay. To move from one box to another box, another box to another box, another box to another box, we need loops concept here. Why? Because here iteration is happening. Iteration happens means we need loops, loops concept. So I'm using for loop here, see, for a in range of n. I'm passing the n value here. Means that many times the loop should be iterate. Means the loop should, the loop will iterate n times here. Okay. A value is zero initially here. Within the for loop, I'm writing OTP is equal to OTP plus. Here plus C is a symbol which is used for concatenation in the concept of strings. In strings concept, we use this plus as to combine two strings, okay, which is nothing but concatenation. See here. To combine two strings, we use plus. To combine these two strings, we use plus. If combine two strings, we use plus symbol. Okay. So for combining two strings, any two strings, we use plus symbol, which is nothing but concatenation. But in automatic operator, it acts as addition. Okay. It is automatic operators. But here it uses as a concatenation. D of M dot float. R dot random function of into 10. Okay. Now I am returning OTP. Now I want to print in output OTP is equal to Okay. The n value is four. So n value will be passed here. OTP is empty string. D is equal to this string 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Initially, the k value is zero. Okay. K when k value is zero, then OTP, it will go to for loop here. So OTP is equal to OTP value is what here? Zero. So zero plus D of M dot floor of R dot random function. R dot random function means it prints any random number which is present between zero and one. See like 0 0.56, next 0 0.21. Next 0 0.87, next 0 0.97. Okay. Here we the value is n. So I took four numbers here. These are the some random numbers which are between 0 and 1. Okay. So first 0 0.56 will be there into 10. Okay. Next. So 0 0.56 into 10 is nothing but 5.6. So I'm writing here OTP is equal to 0 plus D of M dot floor of 5.6. Okay. M dot floor is a function which prints only integer path in a decimal number. Okay. It prints only 5 in 5.6 here okay means point left side value will be printed in the output screen okay next 
OTP is equal to zero plus D of M dot four of zero five point six means five. So D of five means what? What is the value of D of five? Means zero, one, two, three, four, five. So D of five will be five. See here. OTP is equal to zero plus five. Okay. Generally, zero plus five means five. But here we are concatenating. No, means we are concatenating this is a string and this is a string. So the output will be OTP is equal to zero five. But value beside value left to anything is zero. Means zero left to any means zero five means the value is five. No. So we are writing five, okay? The OTP is five, so the five will be stored here. See, in first box the five will be stored here. Next box, now the k value will become one here. See, now the k value will become one. Now we'll take this value zero point two one. So OTP is equal to zero not. What will be the value? Five, five of D of M dot floor of zero point two one into ten. So zero point two one into ten. What is the value? Two point one. Okay. So M dot floor of two point one. M dot floor of two point one means what? This part. This will be printed in the output screen. Means D of two. Five, five, five. So D of two means what? Zero, one, two. Then D of two means two will be there. Basically, five plus two means what? Seven. But in Stream's concept, five plus two means fifty-two here. Okay. Means we are concatenating two strings here. Okay. So five is first place, two is second place. See here. So we'll write here two. Okay, this is two. Wait, I'll write. So, first box is filled with five, and second box is filled with two. Okay, next third box means what is the k value here now? K value will be iterated as two. K value is true. We'll go to here. OTP is equal to OTP. What is the value of OTP? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. We'll write here. Fifty-two. 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 Okay. Next third value is zero point eight seven. So R dot random function is generating zero point eight seven. Okay. Eight seven into ten. Zero point eight seven into ten. What is the value here? Eight point seven. Eight point seven, okay. So M dot floor of eight point seven means what? Eight. So we'll write here D of eight. So D of eight means what? D of eight means eight here. So eight will be there here. So fifty two plus eight means five two eight will be there here. So third position is eight. We'll write here. Third box is filled with eight. Next fourth box. Now the k value will be treated. No, it will increase. So the k value will become three here. We'll take here value zero point nine seven. Okay. Zero point nine seven. Okay. Here OTP value is what five twenty eight. So here OTP will be five twenty eight. Okay. Five twenty eight plus D of M dot floor dot M dot floor in of Zero point nine seven into ten. Five twenty eight. Five twenty eight. Five twenty eight. Okay. So zero point nine seven into ten. What is the value here? Nine point seven. Okay. So M dot floor of nine point seven means what? D of nine will get here. So D of nine means what? Nine. So five two eight plus nine means what? Five two eight nine. 
means this is also a string this is also a string so to combine two strings here we use plus symbol which is nothing not concatenation concatenation means to combine two strings so 5 to 8 9 so here 9 will be c here 9 will be filled in the output here now k value will be 4 here a value will be 4 means we are giving n value as 4 but the last value is up to 3 only then it will come out of the loop and it will return the loop and we are printing the function okay now let's check the output see here i am saving this program so here it is asking enter n value now i am giving 4 means the length of the otp is 4 i am thinking now see the output c otp is equal to 7429 it is not compulsory that that value should become it is not compulsory to get this value we may get random value why because we are using random function here random module random function okay now we'll run another program c we'll turn another time now we'll take the length of the otp as 6 then we'll get six digit otp now we'll run another time c C4. See, remember this value 0693. Next, we'll get that value or different value. I am thinking that we'll get different value, some random value. See. So the length of the OTP is 4. See, different value we are getting. That's it, guys.